Now, sa video na to, we are going to discuss how do you compute for true mean drafts when your ship has hull deflection. Maybe hugging or sagging condition. Pag uh, hugging condition, the midship drafts are lower than the mean of forward and aft drafts. Kapag uh, sagging condition naman, the uh, midship drafts is higher than the mean of forward and aft drafts. Ibig sabihin, yung barko mo sa gitna, lubog. Okay, yung, yung part ng barko mo na nasa gitna, mas lubog. Okay, so, true mean draft considering deflection. Ito po yung ating formula. Quarter mean draft equals to mean of forward and aft drafts plus, open and close parenthesis, 3 times midship drafts divided by 4. Okay, MV Egeo draws forward 12.3 meters and aft 12.7 meters. So, ibig sabihin na ito, uh, trim by the stern. Okay, nakatingala yung barko mo. At perpendiculars. Midship port is 12.56 and midship starboard 12.5. Uh, LBP is 220 meters, find TMD and displacement. Now, compute tayo. Find the mean draft of forward and aft drafts. Now, pag nasa barko po tayo, bago tayo magtuloy-tuloy, basahin ko lang muna itong notes. When midship drafts are not taken, the mean of forward and aft can be used only if you have minimal deflection. Okay, pag may later naman ng ano, ang uh, deflection, I mean, eh, pwedeng ano, kumbaga mata-mata. Yun yung tinatawag na ano, kumbaga mata-mata na lang siya. Ayan, pwedeng ganon. No. Uh, Sige, tuloy tayo. Yan, okay. Yan. Pwedeng mata-mata na lang. Okay. Now, find the mean draft. Madali lang naman mag-compute. Hindi naman ganun kahirap yan. Sige, find the mean draft. Okay, sa isa natin. Saan yung aking calcu? There we go. Saan na yan? Ang ganda yung nakikita rin ng tao eh. Ayan. Number one. Find the mean draft. Okay, forward enough. Okay. Forward plus F Okay, and then divided by 2 Okay Equals Maganda yung mano-mano Because may mga tao talaga na Minsan hindi pa ma Ano, hindi masundan minsan pag mabilis eh uh, Divided by 2 uh, Equals Ito yung mean Okay Mean For and F equals 12.5 meters. Okay, next. Tapos, find the mean of midship drafts. Again, very simple. Okay. Uh, M midship port plus midship starboard okay, divided by 2. Uh, bakit ako nagmamano-mano, Philip? Pwede namang dare-diretso ako mag-compute. Dahil po, minsan, may mga tao po tayo na hindi naman ho ganun ka ano, Mabilis sa math, may maganda yung na-explain natin para sa lahat. Kaya pag nababaga lang kayo sa video, pwede naman kayo mag-fast forward na lang. Alright. Sige. Uh, midship port, midship starboard. Okay, 12.5 plus 12.56. Divided by 2. Uh, 12.53. Okay, mean, MP port, and MP starboard. Okay, 12. Point, point five three meters. Alright. Sige. 12.53. Find the quarter mean drafts. Oh, very simple. Quarter mean drafts. Okay. QMD. Okay. Ito yung formula. Ha? Nandito na sa taas. Oh, so, mean of forward and aft drafts. 12.5 meters plus 3 times midship drafts. Ano yung midship drafts? 12.53 Okay, divided by 4. Okay. Now, pag sa calculator po, dapat huwag kayong dire-diretso mag-solve. Bakit? Kasi minsan, nagkakaroon ng error. 3 times midship drafts, 12.53. 37.59. Plus, ano yung mean ng forward and aft drafts? Uh, 12 po... Oops, nagkamali ako. Ulitin natin, nagkamali ako. 3 times 12.53... Yan, 3 times 12.53 plus sa na yung aking 12.5 50.09 divided by 4. Ang QMD is 12. Point, ayan, QMD equals 12.523. Yan, 12.523 meters. Yan, ganyan, 12.523 ni round off ko na. Yan. 
Tapos, ang next natin dito is solve for correction. So, ano nga ba ulit yung formula for correction? So, bali, trim. Okay. Ang correction is, taga, ayan. Taga na correction. Trim times LCF divided by LBP. Okay. Taga, taas natin ito. Pwede ba ito mataas? Taga, ayan. Yun, ayun, pwede. Yan, okay, para mas makita ako. Divided by LBP. Yan. So, ano ba yung trim? Ano ba yung trim? Uh, difference of uh, forward and aft drafts. Very simple lamang ito. 12.7 minus 12.3, 0.4. Tapos, nandito po sa akin ang kopya ng aking uh, tinatawag natin na. Nandito sa akin yung aking hydrostatics. Okay? And from here, ang nakalagay dito na LCF at quarter mean draft na 12.5. Uh, 523, okay, ang nakalagay is 2.96 ang aking LCF okay, so kung kanina ang, ang sagot dito is 0.4 yan yung ating trim okay, so yan, bag tayo, 0.4 times 2.96 divided by 220 ito yung ating LBP so, okay, ang sagot dito sa correction is 0.04 yan 0.005 okay now next dito naman tayo sa number 5 okay magkakalimutan yung sign okay number 5 is find the TMD so ngayon yung QMD natin eto itong 12.523 okay true mean draft yan ito na yung ating true mean draft QMD plus or minus correction in this case plus bakit kung trim by the stern, ito po yung rule. Ayan o, nilagay ko dito. Ayan o, trim by the stern plus trim by the head minus. O, kung QMD plus uh, correction. Okay. So, bali, 12.523 plus 0.005. Ano yung sagot? Tignan natin. Uh, 12.523 plus, alam ko ano ito eh, 0.05. Ayan, 12.528. Pwede mo rin mo i-round off Pero in my case, di ko siya i-round off Okay, 12.528 meters Okay, ito na yung ating true mean draft Okay, now Pwede naman tayo dito sa Find the corresponding displacement Now, I've got here again yung aking uh, Hydrostatic tables na dito sa akin Now, I, I have to find yung tinatawag natin na nearest less Okay? So, according dito, ang nearest less dito, papakita ko yun sa screen, ang nearest less na pinakamalapit sa 12.528 is 12.52 itself. So, ngayon, in order for me to get tong increment na ito, yan, so, I have to minus 12.52. Ito yung nasa hydrostatic table sa minus, okay, automatic naman tayo, minus 12.528 equals 0. Point, yan, 0.0, yan. Okay. 0.008. Yan, okay. Now, tingnan natin yung kanyang corresponding na uh, TPC. Okay? And ang tinatawag natin na yan, ito, transfer centimeter immersion. O yan, ito, ito yung 12.52 ano yung kanyang nakalagay na TPC. Ang nakalagay dito sa akin is obtain corresponding TPC, 66.35 na TPC. Okay, equals TPC. Tapos ang aking nakalagay pa dito is 76. Okay, 76,000 na displacement is 76,548 point. Nandaan tayo, 76,548.95. Okay, 4.95 tons. So, nilada, displacement. Yan yung ating displacement. Yan. Okay, now... Since nakuha na natin yung ano, ito po again ito, ito yung tabulated drafts for uh, tabulated details for 12.52. Oh, ito ito yung yung makukuha ng mga uh, TPC tsaka displacement. Now, ngayong nakuha na natin tong ano, number 6 na tayo ha. Oh, so 6 na tayo, nagkalagay na 6. Yan, okay. Now, in order for us to find the corresponding displacement, okay? You have to add yung increment. Ito yung ating increment. Yan, increment. So, bali, again, increment 0.008 times 
times ang TPC 66.35 okay isa isa times 100 so ang sagot is 53.08 now yung 53.08 na ito okay ito yung idadagdag natin sa kasi correction to eh, 53.08 okay ito yung tinatawag natin na Uh, INC and correction value So, lalagay ko na lang dito INC value So, you have to plus this add, Or add this To your uh, Given na displacement kanina Ito, oh. So, yan Ito, itong 76 So, bali, ang sagot Okay Ulitin naman tayo 7 uh, 6 Plus 53.08 76,602.03 Ito yung final na Displacement na tinatawag natin Teka, pwede ba ba tayo taas? Ah, pwede pa, kaya pa Sige, siksik natin, yan So, 76,602.03 Yan, 602.03 So, then again, ito na yung tinatawag natin na Okay, final Ito na yung corresponding displacement Ayan, ito na yung corresponding uh, Displacement Okay, kapag ka Ito na, nakumpito natin Lahat, okay, you have your Sa yung highlighters ko, ito yung corresponding Displacement mo, okay Tapos, ito na yung Ano mo, yung uh, true mean draft mo Okay, so then again Ito pa yung quarter mean draft mo Okay, so and uh, that's it. That's that's very simple. Okay, this is how you compute for the uh, this is how you compute for the uh, true mean draft considering deflection. Now, itong mga topics na tinuturo ko dito, this would be handy on the next topics that we would discuss in the future because we're gonna be tackling a lot of uh, uh, draft restrictions, uh, average uh, draft, average true mean draft. And also yung mga loading and discharging plan Plus may mga balancing and uh, debalancing sequence pa tayo So again, medyo basics lang muna itong aking uh, tinuturo Al Alam ko sa mong few na mga, you know, yung mga talagang experts na dito Nababagalan sa turo ko dito Bakit ko po binabagalan? It's because then again po, computation po ito Okay, sometimes people mess up yung... Uh, If you read yung mga trim and stability na book Sometimes yung mga basics yun, Doon sila minsan nagkakamali eh. Nagkakamali ng publication So kailangan din na daan, -daan natin So you know Just a quick reminder lang So then again po This is how you compute for true mean draft Kapag ka ang barko is merong deflection In this case Sagging condition ang iyong barko So then again po Hope you've learned something new Be happy, be healthy And most importantly po To God be all glory Glory, keep safe Ingat kayong lahat I am publishing my third officer crash course for our deck cadets and deck ratings who have little to no idea on how the job of a third mate is on board the ship. Sure, you can watch 60 to 70 or 80 of my videos here on my YouTube channel, but to save you time okay, and energy, I have compiled this lesson for you to so save you time save you money save you energy and also i want you to be promoted during a quarantine okay because a lot of companies today are desperate on finding a competent third officer but then again mm, it's kind of difficult right now because everybody is in solitary confinement i am here to guide you So, you will never experience having Philip, I am so scared of getting the next promotion as a third mate Philip, I am so afraid of grabbing the next recommendation as a third mate Well, then again, fear not I am here to guide you on your next duty Okay? Again, being a third mate is not that difficult on board the ship The reason why it's difficult is because you lack the knowledge On this third officer crash course, I have compiled a series of lessons For you, may you have the wisdom that you have been searching, and I want you to be the next third officer of our country. I am publishing my bridge management manual for deck cadets and deck ratings. Now, this is a compilation of all the manuals, procedures, steps, wisdom that we have actually applied on board the ship. Unlike any other books that, you know, so much wisdom but you don't really use it on board. This bridge management manual that I have compiled, this was used 
actually applied on board our ship. All you have to do is read it. Now, this manual is a combination of GMDSS refresher worth 4,200 pesos, generic ECDIS refresher 2,500 pesos, SSBT refresher worth 2,500 pesos. Now, also, this is also a com combined ECDIS generic, okay, 3,000 pesos, SSBT with BRM worth 4,000 pesos, third mate familiarization with full mission bridge simulator 4500 pesos passage planning with chart correction 3600 pesos radar navigation radar plotting and use of arpa operational level 5200 pesos radar arpa bridge teamwork and search and rescue management 4800 pesos radar simulator course 4100 pesos Steering course, 1,500 pesos. Automatic identification system, 1,600 pesos. Shipboard safety operation for deck ratings, 4,100 pesos. Okay? I've stated a lot of courses here in this bridge management manual. Okay? This is, you know, this isn't only just limited for the bridge management, but also, you know, a snippet of other jobs on board the ship. Okay? Now, I have uh, compiled it here. Okay, and I will publish it and now it's online for Google Play and or Gumroad, okay? You can just pick whatever site you are comfortable at, okay? May you have the wisdom that you wanted for your next position. If you are still, you know, you are a deck cadet or a deck rating who are, you know, not really confident on your next job, you want to become a deck officer, this bridge management manual is for you for this price okay i have compiled it we have actually applied it on board okay and you don't need to worry that much all you have to do is read this manual and actually apply it now if you have any questions you can always hit me up okay at online thirdmate at gmail.com i will be active on answering all of your questions or confusion regarding your next job may you become the third officer and second officer that you truly desire take good care